Hey everybody, so I have another e-cigarette for you, like I showed in the video before of e-puffer. This is an e-cigar, which is something new to me. Um, I haven't had a cigar yet, and was pretty stoked to try to figure out what they were like, which, like I said, from e-puffer. And this is one of the coolest boxes that I've received, um, because it is a lot like a cigar box. You just pull this out, like this. And on top, you will see the directions, and inside is the cigar. And this is a pretty cool little piece. This is a huge battery, number one. A huge light. And it has, oh sorry, it has a protective cap to go with the pieces here. Alright. So this is the charger, which I will show you how to do all this stuff later, but it's pretty cool. It has a lead that goes with it. And then the house charger, of course. More protective cap for the end of it, which I think is a really cool idea. And then there are these, which are your refills. And for the refills, you just pop open this bottom bit. Ah! Wait. Oh, there's nothing in that one. That one's empty. <laughs> well, you would pop open the bottom bit. And inside is your other atomizer. Now, I'm going to try to retrieve this one because inside this is great and I do not enjoy great flavor whatsoever. So I'm not going to be able to <laughs> show you vapor unless I get something that I will be able to vape on. And I will show you because it kind of confused me at first of how to put this together. So it's pretty different than any other e cigarette that I've had on here, so I really like these little tubes where the cardamizers come in. Um, so this is just the mouthpiece. You just push all this off right here, this entire bit. So this, like I said, this is the mouthpiece. And then this is where you keep the atomizer. And you just take it and put it right in there. And then you put the mouthpiece on. The only problem that I've ever had with this is that this gets a little loose sometimes when you're smoking. I'm not really sure why, but it doesn't really affect the smoke much. You just unscrew it and screw it back in. And then all is good to go. So. What I love about this is it does taste like a good cigar without, you know, the burn of a cigar. I was getting this a rail earlier. But it has like the most giant light on it and it's like the hugest battery. And actually for the size of this battery, it's actually really, really light, and it's very comfortable to hold. It's a very nice, smooth texture, very awesome gold fixtures around it. It makes it look very classy, it's very cool, and I do like that it comes with this protective cap so that no liquid's going to leak out. Here's the vapor production again. I got a fan on, so it's not going to hold very well. It does have a cutoff, but it is a bit hard, at least for me, to be able to get to the cutoff. So I would say it's maybe about 10 to 15 seconds of inhaling is what will. But you see, it's already kind of loose. I think it's just from screwing on the other top, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to put the grate back in. 
But that is the cigar. There's not really much else to tell you about it. Again, it is from ePuffer, and I'm in love with this company. They are an amazing little company. Really great products. I have just shown you the Colibri, which is my new go-to e-cigarette that I am absolutely in love with. You can't get any better than this thing. And this is one of the coolest ones that I own just because it's something different. I don't have a cigar yet, and this is very awesome. Huge battery. Very classy looking. And a super duper cool box that I really like. So, that's just that. Uh, remember to go to epuffer.com. I'll put a link down in the description box. And don't forget to check out my blog, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.